Side stone, mm -hmm. as expected from from, from the, the Nunu. And then a double smite to take these objectives, take the blue buff, deny the grump and everything. Also helped him take it down, but instead he wants to recall fast. They're gonna get the dragon, but the top lane is very far behind. Goonie's now sitting and getting some farm as well. And they do dash their way. Early mid game setup that is a lot stronger than what H2K is running. A Jinx is not gonna offer the same as Lucian and at this stage of the game. That's fair. You got the tier stacking. One does work out for them. Well, it looks like the junglers were on a collision course. But Febivin is gonna go around the side. Lulix cannot break the chain. And speaking of the chain, Kasings will go a little bit wide. Lulix a little bit low oh. here, but it comes Huni with the kickback. And that's gonna be first blood over to Febivin. So Fnatic. Just need a little bit of time. Oh, the monsoon flash! My there we go, Ryu! He's gonna get ignited, knocked up. And for just a moment, the Jinx Rocket will come in on Huni, but they don't have enough to take him down. Yellow Star actually fought the teleport as well. They got them. Oh, Oram and Mr. Taunt there. Yep. Oh, Chomper steal back, runs onto it, and he gets hooked up on a thresh hook. That's gonna be Kasing helping out Ryu to another kill. Rainover just trying to even get quite some damage on this tier two mid lane. Oh, they hooked Bebbin hook. too. Are they gonna go wow. in on this one? I think they are. And they managed to take him down. Oda Wamne gets to Oda Wamne is not choosing to go in just yet. The barrel is thrown out. Pepim in a little bit of a chunk out of his health bar. Lulix is going to be knocked back. Dragon still up for grabs in this one, but who's going to take it? It looks like it's going to go over to Fnatic, but the fight's not over yet. Rainover throws down the absolute zero. Huni comes in, but he eats a rocket in mid transit. Yarden moving around the side, trying to pick off Pepim, but steal back moving forward. Now an H2K are starting to evaporate down to two members. It could be even more. Ryu is going to fall. That's a double kill. Going over to steal back the monsoon. They'll get the ace. A triple kill over to steal back. Mm. Fnatic comes up with everything. Uh, Fnatic? Yeah. Okay, so they cleared the one outside. Oh, but they didn't get the one in. Didn't get the one inside. This is the early dragon. Odawan Baron. is coming in. He gets the taunt off. Not quite joined by his team. Baron gets taken down by Rainover. Will H2K be able to fight this one out? Fnatic, they are trapping them into an edge. Flash used by Hyarn and Lulex going down. Steel back, picking that one up. No resonating strike used by Huni. So they get off with two deaths so far. Fnatic still looking to collapse though. Huni moves in on Odawamne. In comes Febivin, a whole hell of a lot of damage. And Huni being chased back, but they get even more picks. Shutdown gold, however, goes over to Hyarnan. He's managing to pick up another as he picks off Huni, but still, Fnatic have found them. Fight for this one, there's still Baron buff on Steelback. Yeah, I think Fnatic. the right move is to give really it up here, but... Into bad situations, into bad team fights. That's how you open up the base. No need for 1-3-1 one, one split pushing if you can get the fights. Dragon is alive, Baron is alive. Very quickly for Fnatic, but Ryu checked too far forward and Febivin punishes him. Fnatic, that is a cherry on the top for them as they should secure this Baron, no trouble. Smited down by Huni. Fnatic going wrong for you. This is a safety Drake right here to Fischio. You don't expose anyone to harm's way. And then Lantern out. Good. Pretty, pretty fed here on this Lucian, and we said in Champs Lake how he's good early game, he's good mid game, he's good late game. He's not the best in either of them, but he's good all around, and he, when he, you buff him with a Blood Boy, with a Janus Shield, he becomes a bit of a hyper carry towards the late game in that sense. And they're using it perfectly now. They've taken a couple of inhibitors now on the Nexus turrets. H2K, they just can't seem to stop this one. And Fnatic, at about 35 minutes into the game, with Ryu going down to boot, are gonna even the score at one and one. That was uh, the most standard Fnatic in many ways. While they did still have the lease in top lane for Huni, it wasn't about 2v1 in mid lane or all aggressive early invades. They did invade on the blue buff, that was great.